What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with this Pizzles. I'm Simone bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here and haven't already subscribed to the channel, stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help you this channel. The second link is to shop the official Simone with this Pizzles, a merch collection, get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, and the fly or die crew neck. But y'all, if you do not do anything else, Turn your notification bells on right now. Boom, boom, boom. Right now so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. And we will be live every Monday night for the Birds of Broad Street podcast. We will be live Friday night since we didn't go live on Monday. So make sure notification bells are on. But what's up, you guys? How y'all feeling? So you see the title. You see the thumbnail. We're going to be talking about LeJarrius Sneed possibly coming to the Philadelphia Eagles in free agency. So before we get into that, I did just recently do a podcast. I did the Players Den podcast. You guys know I live in Atlanta, so this is a 90% Atlanta-centric um, Atlanta Falcons, Hawks, whatever podcast. I recently did their podcast, but we talked a lot about free agency topics. We talked a lot about the Eagles, so I will be posting some clips of that on my page so when you see that random we see these random people don't be like who are these people you know what i mean i was a guest on that podcast so that's gonna be coming soon but y'all let's go ahead and get into the topic so free agency is almost here you guys so the like official like day teams can have conversations with um unrestricted free agents is march 11th and then i think the day you can actually sign deals is march 13th um, so March 11th, like March 10th, March 11th is when we're going to be starting to get those breaking news. Like so-and-so sign here, so-and-so sign these extensions. So those are just some dates, um, to keep in mind. So right now it's just rumors. It's just rumors, baby. Okay. So ESPN put out an article yesterday, um, best landing spots for the top free agents. So who did, Bleacher Report, I'm uh, not Bleacher Report, ESPN, this was an ESPN article. Who did ESPN have the Eagles signing? What big free agent did the, the ESPN have the Eagles signing? I knew it was probably going to be a cornerback because when you look at these, I mean, you know the Eagles need some help in the secondary. Um, and when you're looking at these mock drafts from, you know, these major platforms, when you're looking at these free agency lists, it's always corner that they had the Eagles going because, again, you know, we sucked um, at corner last season. So it was no surprise. Um who ESPN had going to us. Legereus Sneed, cornerback from the Kansas City Chiefs. Legereus Sneed popped out these last two seasons, especially popped out this season um, and the season before in the back-to-back -back Super Bowls, um, becoming one of the best corners on the Kansas City Chiefs, going from like a fourth-round pick in 2020, I believe he was like a fourth-round pick, to becoming a starter in the Kansas City Chiefs secondary. So he's going to be coming off his rookie contract. He's going to be demanding some money. So I'm going to give you all my opinion. But first, let me read what ESPN had to say. So, best fit, Philadelphia Eagles. With his scheme, versatile coverage skills, Snead will generate a ton of interest on the free agent market. Look for Atlanta and Las Vegas to make a play here too. But I have Snead landing in Philadelphia to upgrade the position opposite of Darius Slack. With Vic Fangio now calling the defense for the Birds, Philly allowed 16 passing touchdowns in the second half of last season. Yeah, we know. We were there for it. Tied for fourth most in the NFL. The Eagles have to clean up the secondary, and Snead can make an impact. He has at least two interceptions in, in each of his four career seasons. He has at least two interceptions in each of his four career seasons um, with the Chiefs. So also the big thing in with Legarius Sneed was that game against um, the wild card round against the Miami Dolphins when the Miami Dolphins just looked so out the water. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to use that analogy. They looked like fish out the water. Like they pretty much just got um, embarrassed in that game. Legarius Sneed locked down. Um, Legarius locked down Tyreek Hill. I'm trying to pull up the stats. So in that wild card round, that's when like everybody like, yeah, LeJerry's about to get that bread. He about to get that bread. So he had allowed one catch for nine yards and a forced incompletion. So just going over his regular season stats for this year, um, he had 78 total tackles, six, 60 solo, 18 assisted tackles. In 2022, he had three and a half sacks, and he had three forced fumbles in 2022. Didn't have any this year. Um, two interceptions this year. 
He's had at least two interceptions every year he's been in the league. He had two interceptions this year, um, 14 pass deflections this year. So this was a career high um, pass deflection. And he had four and a half stuffs. So this guy is just a playmaker. He's a ball hawk. He's, he's everywhere you want him to be. The question is, are we going to be able to pay the man? That's my question. Because I don't, like, would I love to have LeJarrius Sneed? Absolutely. Are we going to be able to pay LeJarrius Sneed? That, I don't know. Because LeJarrius Sneed is going to be a hot commodity on, on the free agent market. He's going to be a hot commodity. I want to know how we're going to make the money work when we're paying so much money to Darius Slay. We're paying so much money to James Bradbury. Like, the James Bradbury money situation just really, really, really messing us up. Really messing us up. So, <sighs> you know, you can't dwell on the past. You can't dwell on past mistakes. But, God dang, like, all that money tied up in, in James Bradbury for nothing. All that money tied up for nothing, man. Like, nothing. Um... So, yeah, that's my only thing. Like, I would love Legereus, but I'm like, Legereus going to be a top dog. Are we going to be able to pay Legereus? Are we going to be able to pay Legereus? I think it's a long shot, y'all. I personally think it's a long shot. Um, and if it came down to, like, Legereus money and Hassan money, obviously I would want to pay Legereus. Love Hassan Reddick, but, I mean, we have a bigger concern in the secondary um, than we do up front, obviously, in my opinion. Um, so if it came down to that, then you also have DeAndre Swift. Um, I mean, like I said, if it came down to having to pay Legereus or pay DeAndre Swift, I'll have to pay Legereus because, you know, it's easier to get a productive running back than it is to get a lockdown corner. So we're going to have some tough decisions to make, y'all. We're going to have some tough decisions to make. Um... But that's why that number 22 overall pick in the draft is so important. Because if we can get a pro-ready corner, if we can get somebody who's ready, uh, a top corner early, um, that's going to be big. Like, hitting at 22 is going to be big. Because even if it's a scenario where we can pay Legereus, like, we pay Legereus Snead, then we need to use that top pick, you know, maybe to, um, you know, we can show up some other areas, safety, linebacker, um, Pass rush. So, in the event that we can't keep us on. So, we're just really going to have to kill free agency. We're going to have to kill the draft. And we're going to have to kill free agency if we want to stay a contender. If we want to stay a 10-plus win team. If we want to stay a playoff team. If we want to stay a threat, we have to kill free agency. And we have to kill the draft. But, y'all, let me know what you think. Do you think we can get Legereus? Do you think we can get Legereus? Let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.